Erica Douglas and I blog at littlemommy.com and Brit Mums have asked me to talk today on nurseries. Uh, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about my own experience and, and kind of what I did. Um, before I had my daughter Erin, who's now five, I actually worked in a nursery as a nursery assistant. Um, it was something that I had already, already always really fancied trying. Um, and uh, for about a year, just before I was uh, pregnant, um, I worked there and right the way through my pregnancy too. And it was really insightful, it was really good to see what happens on the other side, whereas a lot of parents like yourself probably um, are the person putting your, into, uh, putting your child into nursery as opposed to being on the other side of things. And what I can tell you is that actually um, a lot of the, the, the worries that parents have are probably unfounded um, and there's no real need to worry because what I found was that the people who work at nurseries tend to be really passionate about looking after children. Um, a lot of the staff are kind of younger uh, girls who um, just really love working with children. And I actually find that the younger staff, or I actually find that the younger staff um, you know, they, they, they just love the interaction with the children, they're just really good with them and for some reason the children, you know, really reacted well um, to younger members of staff so I wouldn't like let that make you feel nervous. I know as a parent sometimes it can make me feel a little bit nervous if I see somebody really young um, but actually it was, I, I thought it was quite a good thing and then obviously you have the supervisors and the manager who are older and more experienced and a lot of them actually have, you know, uh, HNCs, HNDs, um, you know, degrees and things like that, you know, really highly qualified um, so from that point of view, I would say that there's probably not that much to worry about, even though you hear a lot of, um, you know, really bad stories in the news. But basically what happened with me is that I went on maternity leave and um, because uh, working in nursery is actually very low paid, um, I decided that it wasn't really worth my while going back to working in a nursery or indeed any job. So I ended up becoming a stay-at-home mum for all intents and purposes. I did do a little bit of work um, when I was at home, but predominantly um, my focus was on being the main child carer to my daughter Erin. So she didn't really do any nursery um, until she attended a play group. Um, and, and some people worry that that's you know there's a problem with socialisation and things there. And I I can honestly say that I've never found that Erin is one of the most chatty people, um, chatty children I've ever come across. And she's never had any um, worries since starting school. So she went to play group and um, that started off like a couple of times uh, a week in the mornings. And then obviously she built up to her preschool place, which uh, I'm sure you know is, is five mornings a week. Um, and she loved that. And there didn't seem to be any issues over the fact that she'd never been to nursery. Um, I, I wouldn't say that they're, uh, you know, whether it's good to go to nursery or not go to nursery. I think it just depends on the fact that sometimes you don't have a choice. It's a case of doing what's right for your family and I'm not going to stand here and preach and say oh I, you know, I became a stay at home mum because I thought that was better for my child. That wasn't the case. The case was that actually financially um, I, it was just a better situation for me to be at home with Erin um, but I certainly don't feel like the, the fact that she was at home and, and not perhaps socialising as much as other children had a detrimental effect at all. She's very very sociable. Um, she's very adept at holding conversations, um, she's really, really good and, and she's loved nursery and, and now she's at school, she's in primary one, so we're up in here in Scotland, um, and she loves school as well. So that was my experience, um, I hope what you've taken from the video is that one, uh, if you're just about to have your children start nursery that there's really nothing to worry about and, and the people that work at nurseries generally are just lovely, lovely people that um, have, your, have your child's best interests at heart. And two, that if you've decided to, to be a stay-at-home mum, that from my experience that hasn't had any effect on um, development or social skills or anything like that. So I hope that this you've enjoyed this little video today and head over to Brit Mums and I think they've probably got a lot more videos over there for you to see. Thanks for watching!